So I just wanted to do a quick test today with the Sony 11mm f1.8. We've currently got it on the ZV-E10. Shutter speed is at 1 and 50, S-Log 2, ISO 500, getting about plus 2. I've got it on spot metering, so I know that my sky and everything's going to be clipped, so I'm just trying to expose it to my face a little bit. But as you can see with all the shakes and the fact that I've got a tired arm, because I've also got the Ninja V on here, as you can see, it's going to be a bit wobbly. We've got no... <laughs> no optical stabilization here so if i just get you know a little bit going on there that's probably going to be all over the place but the reason i bought this lens is because it's so wide you can pair it with either sony's built-in active stabilization or also the gyro stabilization so i thought i'd just do a quick test for you so you can see what it looks like on the 11 millimeter f1.8 so i've just turned on active stabilization how does it look it's got about a 40 percent crop Again, I'm not really making any kind of, you know, effort to do like a vlog walk or anything like that. I've got my boots on, it's muddy, and my arm is hurting. I don't know how people do this all day. I'm going to need a smaller rig. I am going to need a smaller rig. Now, we're still at shutter 1 and 50, but I wanted to try um, setting it at kind of like shutter 200 as well, because digital stabilization can work better with a higher shutter speed. Which is what we're going to test out in a second with the gyro with the gyro gonna get them gyros moving but let's just do a little you know it's like blair witch out here no now i've just freaked myself up go on, mate <laughs> said that and i literally just had a dog walker come up right behind me that scared the crap out of me it scared me anyway let's set this to 200 shutter see if that improves the stabilization at all let's have a little look we're gonna then bump our iso up just want to see them zebras. Probably don't want to go that high. There we go, that will do. So, because I'm at shutter 200, I've just bumped my ISO up to 1600, which is not ideal, but it's still quite early in the morning. Still quite early. And this is what the active stabilization looks like with 200 shutter. Oh, I'm going to have to give my lover arm a break. Um, sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. I've literally got screens everywhere. Should I get a little... So I get a little video of what I'm holding right now. So uh, yeah, that is uh, what I'm holding right now with my tiny little T-Rex arms. So yeah, active stabilization with this lens is fine because it's like a 40% crop. So it's okay, but it's not perfect. I would use this handheld for like little bits of B-roll, but really what you want is the gyro, all right? That's what you want, the gyro stabilization. So we're now on gyro. This is what we're gonna be using. So we're using the camera's built-in gyro data, and then we're gonna stabilize it in catalyzed browse. Catalyze, catalyst browse. We're gonna stabilize it in catalyst browse. That is generally always gonna give you a crop between about 15 and 25%, depending on what you're doing. Now, at the moment, I'm only at shutter speed one and 50, which is going to give us natural motion blur. But for catalyst browse, you need to use a higher shutter speed, okay? Any kind of stabilization like that. Similar to like a GoPro. So with a GoPro, if your shutter speed gets too low, so like low light situations, the stabilization goes all over the place. So let me just get a little, little move on. Hopefully I don't have a runner come up behind me and scare me like last time. So I'm just getting a bit of a move, bit of a wobble on. So then, we are now at shutter speed 1 and 200. That was just a big little bump I did there um, with the gyro. Wasn't looking where I was going. Decided to do this when I found some woodland because I've just walked up a massive canal and I was not looking where the water was. And my mum would, that would freak my mum out a bit. But I wasn't looking, wasn't looking where I was going. But this is the gyro stabilization now with shutter speed 1 and 200. How does the footage look? Does it look stable? Probably not because the amount of gear I'm holding in my hand. This could be a much lighter setup, but um, yeah. It's also the first time I've shot an S-Log 2, so yeah, I thought I would have all the monitoring gear going on for doing that. I think I need to just bump my ISO up just a touch more maybe. Let's see what that's like. Let me just get a, get a wobble on. You can hear all the mud that I'm crunching in. Get me a, Get me a little run going. I do not know where I am. I'm going to have to get on my trail app in a minute and figure out where I am. Anyway, that's it for me today. There is a link in the description to all of the gear that I'm using. So if you're going to buy any of this stuff, please use the affiliate link. I'll be back with some more videos very soon. 
If there's any tests that you would like me to do with this setup, just let me know. I'm probably going to be out most weekends now because I'm getting bored of being sat at my desk and I think it's better to be outdoors. 